everyone, iOS 16.3 has officially came out, so let's go and take a look at it on the iPhone 12 and see if it's even worth installing. Now, I will definitely tell you, <laughs> iOS 16 has been a rocky road, but so far the betas have been getting better and better, and I do think 16.3 is probably going to be the most stable version of iOS 16 as of right now, which may not even be saying too much. So, the first thing I want to state is, within iOS 16.3, we do have some new inclusions within the Unity wallpapers. So, this is pretty cool. If you are currently on another version of iOS, or if you want to install iOS 16 or whatever, you could, you know, install iOS 16.3 to get these new Unity wallpapers. But keep in mind that, if, you know, these wallpapers are going to come up and show up inside of Twitter and other places sooner than later. So, you could probably just wait until they show up there. You don't have to update if you don't want to, but that's a new cool feature. We also got another big improvement within security keys. So what this means is basically, we now have the ability of using physical security keys on our iPhone, and I'll show some videos on my second channel of how to implement this, but instead of you know having to type in a security code that's texted to you or whatever, you can instead plug in a physical security key that you need to have in your possession, plug it in right there, and that might end up fixing, or that might, you know, will that will basically log you into certain things in certain areas, which is basically just, you know, securing your iPhone even more. And that is something that I actually do love about iPhones right now. So that is another really cool thing we have going for it. Now, on top of that, we do have support for HomePod second generation. But keep in mind, if you bought one of those at HomePods, you will have to be on iOS 16.3 in order to utilize it. So keep that in mind. Emergency SOS got a little bit of improvement, so now it'll sh it should stop you know having to go through and utilize different. Basically, it'll help with you know triggering these things by accident. There have been some issues within Freeform as well. So this Freeform application came in the last version of software, and funny enough, Apple just now updated it or fixed an update issue with it. I mean, it did come in the last one. They waited a long time for this update to come out, so that's why we're kind of like you know still experiencing issues that should be fixed now. There were some other bug fixes and improvements all over the place within this update as well. Siri also within CarPlay, you know, got a little bit of an update. So the answer or the question is, should you install iOS 16.3 on your iPhone 12? In my opinion, as I've stated before, I think absolutely yes. This is a pretty important update, especially if you're on iOS 16. Now, if you're on iOS, let's say 15, should you update? I don't know if I have the answer to that. I mean, I would probably say go for it. But if for some reason you don't want to update or there's too many issues, then maybe, okay, don't update. But I would probably recommend at some point, update your device. And 16.3 seems fairly stable for the most part. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.